is Eric the House Fankhauser here, four weeks out from the Mr. Olympia contest. Things are going pretty good with the diet and training. Uh, four weeks out, it's, it's definitely pretty tough, man. up a ton of different things in my diet, in my training, uh, with my posing. Uh, things are getting better, but a lot of times when you're on a diet for a long time, you kind of get stuck in a plateau and, and things don't, don't change. So I um, found myself kind of hitting a plateau right around four weeks out. So I definitely had to change things up. And a few of the things that I'm going to talk about that I changed are things that um, are that everyone should kind of change. Uh, you find yourself when you're dieting that you're just eating the, the same things or you, you find yourself training and you're always training the same and you go into the gym and say on Monday you're always doing chest and then you're doing back and then you're doing arms. And when you find that, when you find that you've been doing that for months and months on end that you kind of stop seeing results. So one of the things that I do when I find myself in a rut like that and I'm not getting any uh, any progression or changing that I change things up dramatically. And um, one of the major things that I changed up at this point with my training is I, st I started to do a whole bunch of giant sets. Um, giant sets are great. Uh, especially when you're in season and you're cutting down for a show because it keeps your heart rate up while you're working out, keeps your pace up. Um, a lot of the times when you're uh, training down for a show and you're getting closer, you want to try lifting as heavy as possible, but uh, you got to keep the pace up. Sometimes when, you, uh, when you're when you resting, you find yourself just going in La La Land, and I found that when you're doing giant sets, uh, you really don't get time to even think you just keep moving and moving and moving and moving so it's a great way to change your training up so I'll usually pick like four or five different exercises uh, and just go at them straight with no breaks in between and then take a break at the end and, and roll through that about three different times so for instance on back I would pick like um, deadlifts and then I would do a row then I would do maybe some chins some uh, dumbbell pullovers and then maybe some back extensions something like that just to keep the pace going take a maybe uh, a two minute break after I complete all of those exercises and then roll back through it and I usually do that around three different times so that gives you about 15 working sets there if you do it like that um, and then also it's, it's, it's not that it's cardio but it keeps your heart rate up so it helps with uh, burning some fat there also so that's one of the things that I've added this week and I usually do add that as I get closer to the show and I find they become very effective um, and it kind of gives you a little bit of spice when you've hit a plateau. Uh, since I've kind of plateaued with my dieting, uh, one thing I've changed is uh, I was doing just high and low days. I threw my medium day back in, uh, I started throwing some more fat back in, I took my fat out. Um, uh, last week and uh, I found that it kind of put me at a plateau so now that I threw some more back in uh, actually been eating a little bit of peanut butter here and there or some egg yolks just to stimulate some fat burning um, I figure that if you're not eating any fat your body's gonna maintain fat after a while so sometimes you gotta throw some fuel on the fire to get the fire burning so I started throwing it back in this week and it 
it's actually helped out a little bit um, with my cardio I mean I've been doing cardio for a long time I mean I've been dieting over eight months straight now so uh, my body's become very efficient at cardio I did up my cardio to uh, two hours now at this point and hopefully I won't have to go any higher than that um, I've been doing three sessions I've been trying to go a half hour in the morning an hour after training and then a half hour in the evening but sometimes I'll do 45 minute sessions um, just depending on what my schedule looks like but I've been getting two hours a day and no matter what at this point uh, one of the biggest things that I've changed in my cardio instead of just keeping it at a constant pace I've been doing a lot of interval change training and I found that with the interval training you can burn a lot more calories get your heart rate up a lot higher and uh, um, I feel that I burn more calories that way and burn more fat. Um, like I said, because my body's become very efficient at the cardio, you have to keep changing it up. And another thing that I have done with my cardio is um, I've been doing some cross training. So maybe I'll go like 10 minutes on a treadmill, 10 minutes on an elliptical, 10 minutes on a stepper, uh, 10 minutes on a bike. I just, I'm always changing it um, just as long as you're getting that total time in. Uh, one of the big things with the cross training is you don't want to take any breaks in between um, the different pieces of the machine that you jump on. So you just want to go to machine to machine if you do try to do the, that type of cardio. Um, hopefully these little adjustments that I've made this past week will uh, help me get that little bit of fat left that's on my body off and uh, will come and rip for the Olympia. Alright guys, stay posted and uh, we'll be talking to you soon.